Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and also compare it to the DXY. Maybe we're also gonna have a look into the Ethereum price and have a look what is going there and also into the Bitcoin dominance. So stay tuned here till the end. And before we start, my friends, a reminder that we still have this nice Black Friday week going on where you can get some nice discounts, especially this one here on the Ledger website. You can easily now buy all the Ledger Nano S and X that you want with 40% off. So we have 40% discount on this nice Ledger wallet. So definitely go and take one if you don't have already one, because this is where you should keep your cryptos for the long term. If you are trading over on Bybit or Femex, uh, then of course you have a little portfolio over there which you can use for trading but the big one or also your crypto savings you should always keep on these offline wallets never keep it on exchanges because if your exchange is going to get hacked then potentially your cryptos are also lost so definitely go and store it in offline wallets my advice for you today is to go and keep your cryptos in these offline wallets so very important and if you still don't have one go now and order one with 40 percent off this is a special black friday event which is coming up almost every year now since ledger exists so always on black fridays you should order one of them to keep your crypto safe because don't forget, not your keys, not your coins. Very, very important, my friends. And the next special offers, of course, are the ones over on Bybit and Femex, where you can get up to $600 in bonus if you put a deposit up to 1.5 Bitcoin. So definitely go and claim this bonus if you're using Femex and also buy bit and the next big black friday sale is on my own indicator so if you want to get access into my live stream where you can easily trade bitcoin for the short term but also for the long term then make sure to contact me over on discord you find also the link down below here and of course everyone is also welcome to join our free discord trading chat all the links are down below here also, if you want to try out the co-vesting feature over on Prime XPT, where you can easily copy trade other traders, then definitely open up an account right now over on Prime XPT. My link is down below here, so you can easily copy trade successful traders over here if you also want to make some extra gains without even the need to trade yourself. All right, my friends, and now let's start here in the one hour time frame in the Bitcoin price. I just want to show you here the lower time frames because currently, since we are trading in this upwards trending channel, you can see that trading the one hour time frame so far was very successful. So every time we went into oversold condition, you just had to open up a long position. And if you wanted to take also a riskier trade, you could also go short here towards the resistance once we were in overbought condition. So currently, as long as we're trading in this channel, it is very easy to open up longs and shorts over on Bybit or Femex if you're trading over there. So if you want to do some nice little trades, currently the one hour time frame is a very good time frame to trade. But be very careful, my friends, don't go with too high leverage in because as soon as we're going to have a breakout below the support or above the resistance, we're going to see big fireworks here. And you definitely want to be on the right side if you're trading with leverage so let's go over now into the four hour time frame because as you can see right now we are just one step before reaching the new all-time high if we're gonna see a big continuation here to the upside towards our main resistance currently at twenty thousand dollar we will create a new all-time high and this is going to be a very very special moment and we will write history as soon as we're reaching now this resistance level up here it is also possible that we are going to overshoot it to the upside and in that case i'm expecting even a 50 percent pump to the upside because the next fib line based on the moves that we had since 2017 till now would be right at thirty thousand dollars so what i'm expecting right now if we're going to break 20k to the upside is that we could potentially go straight towards 30k before we're gonna see any kind of correction and at the other hand if we're gonna fall below our main support that we have currently at $17,600 and get rejected here at 20k is a potential dump even 
than up to 50%, which would bring us towards $12,000 in my opinion. But since so far, although the lower time frames are looking so bullish, I'm expecting here a potential breakout to the upside. Of course, we have several indicators which are pointing out that we are in extreme overbought condition and the indicators are very overextended, so a pullback or a correction will come. But the question is only if Bitcoin first is going to go parabolic here towards the next level or we just gonna easily top out here and then start here a correction and then bottom out and gear up for the next big move that will bring us above 20k so since we are still maintaining our main supports i still think we could see here 20k being broken very easily and pretty soon so we're gonna have to wait and see what will happen once we are reaching this 20k level something will happen for sure because i don't think that we will just keep trading sideways once we're gonna create a new all-time high i think we're gonna see big volatility coming in here as soon as we're reaching these levels and we are just one step before reaching this 20k area although you can see that here in the four hour time frame we are maintaining the 20 moving average which is very bullish we are also above the 50 level in the rsi everything is pointing out that we will see continuation here to the upside and if we go over into the dxy you can see that here we are still in a big bear market we are still trending here to the downside getting rejected from all the moving averages even here in the four hour but be careful my friends because here we could get a potential buy signal pretty soon and in that case we could maybe see a little pump again like we have seen over here in the dxy and that of course could lead into a possible correction in the bitcoin price but i don't think that we will go way lower than seventeen thousand six hundred dollar right at our main support only if we will start to trade below this price level and also confirm it as a new resistance then i'm expecting that we could see a major correction incoming but as long as we're staying in this channel we should be trending to the upside especially watching here at the dxy which is very very weak at the moment and we can also have a look into the Bollinger Bands because currently you can see that we are still trading on the upper area. So in theory, we could easily go here towards $19,400. And there we're going to have to see if we can overshoot it to the upside or not. We have a support right now here at $18,950 and here in the middle line of around $18,700. This is where I'm expecting the price could go if the DXY is going to have a little pump or something like that. And watch out here for the bottom right at $17,000. $1,900. This is also where our main support is lining up in this uh, channel that we're in currently. All the indicators are flat, so we are really just in this calm before the storm area where we're gonna expect right now big volatility coming in again, especially if we are able to go again towards 20k and create a new all time high. And now let's open up the daily time frame because here you can clearly see that we are still maintaining this nine day moving average. Also today we came down here to retest the nine day moving average and we had another bounce to the upside. So as long as we're not closing one single daily candle below the nine day, we should be shifted to the upside and you can expect big pumps incoming. Only if we will start to close daily candles below this nine day moving average, then keep an eye on the next supports, which could come down here between $17,000 to $15,000 thousand dollar and if they will not hold then watch out for a complete retracement back down towards the 200 daily moving average which is lining up with our main support at around twelve thousand dollar here in the daily you can also see that we are still very overbought in the rsi old human own indicator we got several sell signals so bitcoin can go on and on if the trend is to the upside and fomo kicks in so only because we are getting right now into overbought condition and everything is extreme doesn't mean that we have to correct bitcoin can go for a very long time to the upside before having a correction but when we have circumstances like this it is very hard to get a good entry point or to go long because if we're gonna see a major correction you get wrecked very easily because when we go just straight up like this we also have nasty huge correction incoming at any time so be very careful if you go with high leverage into some trades of course if you just buy and hodl then of course this doesn't matter for you because everything that you're buying right now till next year is going to be very cheap compared to what bitcoin is going to do in the future but if you are training these swings when we go up and down then of course this is also important for you and now we can have a look also into the bollinger bands in the daily because also here you can see that we are still trending here to the upside and also the top is right now at 19,800 
800 dollar so it is very likely that we will visit again this price area here and retest maybe this 20k new all-time high area before maybe we're gonna have a correction but if we are able to overshoot it to the upside then be prepared to see a big green candle which will take us into new levels we also have all the indicators shifted to the upside here in the daily so the daily is really looking bullish and if we compare it now to the dxy you can see that here we have exactly the opposite we are coming into very oversold conditions although we are trading below all the moving averages and we are still getting rejected from the 9 day and also the 20 daily moving average which of course is very bearish for the dxy and even if here we will get a buy signal and we're gonna see a big pump in the dxy in the long term the dxy is still shifted to the downside and we should expect continuation to the downside in the next couple of months and years so the conclusion of this comparison to the US dollar index and the Bitcoin price is that the DXY is garbage and Bitcoin is the future. So definitely make sure that you keep your HODL position and also keep it safe in a hardware wallet offline. Only put the money that you want to trade with in those exchanges if you want to trade these swings and also try to multiply your crypto portfolio. And now since we are in the daily time frame we can also have a look into the bitcoin dominance because here you can see that we have got a clear bounce here at the 200 daily moving average this is what i told you my friends that if we're gonna fall from the cliff here watch out for the 200 daily this is where we most likely gonna bottom out and have a bounce now we're gonna have to see if we're gonna see again continuation to the upside towards the 20 daily so that means that bitcoin is going to do the next big move and then the altcoins potentially could follow so what i think that in the next couple of days will happen is that Bitcoin is gonna do the show and the altcoins will follow later and you can see this also in the ethereum price because if we have a look here you can see that right now we are very overbought we came in the RSI up to the 82 percent level and also in my own indicator you can see that pretty soon we are getting here a sell signal and in my opinion we will have a retracement back down towards the 20 daily moving average here at around 500 dollar and this is where most likely we're gonna set a bottom and then bounce again to the upside because also ethereum has still a lot of way to go to the upside so i'm pretty confident that ethereum will not top out here at around 600 dollar this thing can go easily towards 850 and higher in the next couple of days and weeks so if you're waiting for a good long entry or to buy even more ethereum then wait for a retracement at least down here towards the 20 daily moving average at around 500 dollar so even though ethereum is still looking very bullish also for the long term like bitcoin we could see here also a correction incoming in the ethereum price so if you want to long or short ethereum you can do that over on femex or bybit and since we are currently in an uptrend also here in the ethereum price i would recommend you also here to look for good long opportunities don't don't try to catch the tops to short the tops try to buy the dips and to long the dips as soon as they happens because during an uptrend you will do way better gains and also you will be more safe with your trades don't try to catch the tops in the next couple of weeks months and years because we are in a multi-month and multi-year bull run right now also in the ethereum price and now let's have a look back into the bitcoin price and open up the weekly time frame because once again i want to remind you my friends that we could see also here at any time a correction down towards a 20 weekly moving average at $12,500 so if you have some tether or some money on the sideline don't FOMO in once the price is going parabolic to the upside you have to FOMO in if you see blood on the street so if we're gonna have any kind of big sales here if we're gonna have a big drop anything like that then make sure to be able to buy as much as you can with your tether and fresh money and at the other hand when the price is going so parabolic then make sure that you are also able to trade over on Bybit or Femex because like this you can also use your bitcoins that you already have or even your tether to multiply your bitcoins like that so you don't have to use your fresh money to buy in and then the price collapses down and you could have bought even more bitcoin down here so make sure that when the price is going parabolic like this that you're just trading bitcoin and when the price has a big drop then you can easily just buy some bitcoin Bitcoin with your fiat that is at least how I'm doing it right now and also will do in the future because if Bitcoin is starting to go really parabolic even with a small amount of money you can do really nice gains 
trading with leverage and the best exchanges that I recommend you are still Bybit and Femex. You find all the links down below here if you want to open up an account. And if you're somehow a still a no coiner, then make sure to open up an account on Swissport, Binance and Coinbase because there you can easily buy all the cryptos that you want. You can also trade over there and with my links you can get also even more money and even more cryptos. So definitely go and open up an account right now if you're somehow still a no coiner. And with that said guys, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. If you like the content, make sure to hit that like button. Thank you very much for your support and the great community that we have over here on YouTube but also over on discord so make sure that you also joining my discord channel and also my twitch live streams all the links are down below here so thank you very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye